I'm Nicholas Kristof, a columnist for The New York Times. I recently produced a short documentary, 21st Century Concentration Camps, about the sometimes brutal mistreatment of an ethnic group called the Rohingya in Myanmar. Thank you so much for sending in so many comments and questions. I wanted to answer some of those, so here goes. We have a question from Painted Black XO. What can we do to help? And I'd say there are a couple of areas where anybody can reach out and make a difference. And one is to support groups that are out there in the field trying to help the Rohingya in Myanmar. There are groups like um, Action Against Hunger, which is providing nutrition for kids who otherwise might be starving there. And the other area one can make a difference is to support advocacy groups. Um, there are three in particular that come to mind. Human Rights Watch, um, Fortify Rights, and United to End Genocide. And all these are trying to sh blow the whistle on what has happened to the Rohingya. One can use the information on their websites to alert one's own member of Congress or one's uh, senator to support a congressional resolution that is trying to create pressure on Myanmar to stop the mistreatment of the Rohingya. A YouTube user named Hi JC Me asks, well, aren't Buddhists supposed to be peaceful? And sure they are, just like members of every other religion. But at the end of the day, people of every faith sometimes behave in very inhumane ways. Uh, and that isn't only Myanmar in the case of Buddhism. There are a couple of other countries where something similar has happened. Sri Lanka, Bhutan, both, like Myanmar, Buddhist-majority countries that have behaved in very repressive ways. At the end of the day, look, no faith has a monopoly either on virtue or on brutality. Several viewers asked about the use of the term concentration camp, both in the title and in the documentary itself. And, you know, that's a fair question. It's one we wrestled with. Uh, because usually the term concentration camp is associated with death camps in Nazi Germany. And, you know, that is not what is happening to the Rohingya. It's terrible what is happening in Myanmar. But these are not death camps. These are not extermination camps. But in a broader sense, the term concentration camps goes way back before Nazi Germany and originated with uh, concentration camps in South Africa during the Boer War at the beginning of the 20th century. It was also used to describe uh, U.S.-run camps in, for example, uh, the Philippines, and refers typically to a minority that is locked up inside camps, denied uh, free movement, and placed in harsh conditions. And that's exactly what is happening in Myanmar today. So uh, let's not conflate death camps with concentration camps. They're not always the same.